Hey, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use an app in a Settle Corsa called BLM Car App. Basically, um, I'm going to be showing you how you can use um, a Stream Deck to adjust the mirrors. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the app, um, showing you exactly what it can do, how to uh, use the keybind functions. You don't necessarily need to use a Stream Deck for this, you can also use your keyboard. Um, but yeah, that's basically what this video is going to be about. Um, a lot of people have commented on uh, some of my other videos and some of my uh, like TikToks and things saying how did you do this and how do you adjust it so that's why I thought I'd do this video. Um, if you haven't done so already guys then please hit that like button, please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't take much to just click them two buttons and it really helps this channel grow. Also check out all my other videos, I've done videos on graphic settings, um, how to use like MSI Afterburner, uh, base shakers, uh, simul tutorials, so make sure you go through all my videos. I put loads of help guides on to help you guys um, with the things that I've found out in my sim racing journey over the past five years. So just make sure you check all them out. And also, if you don't mind, guys, please hit that like button. It really does help this channel grow. I've had so many people comment and saying I should have so many more subscribers. I'm really just trying to get up there. So that would be much appreciated. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video. So then guys, what you want to be doing is you want to get the link from in the description and download the BLM car app and install it. Um, you can either do this uh, manually or you can do it automatically by dragging it and dropping it into Content Manager. You will need Content Manager for this and Custom Shaders Patch uh, for this app to work. Um, if you do drag and drop it in, as you can see, if you drop it into Content Manager section, it will show it installing here. If you want to do it manually, for instance, if I did it manual, I'd go to my games hard drive, I'd go to Steam, Steam Apps, and then Common, a set of Corsa, and then Apps. Under Python, we drop it in here, and as you can see, the BLM car apps there. So once you've got it installed, you want to head over to the Settings tab, which is up here, and then obviously you've got Content Manager, a set of Custom Shaders, Patch, and Apps. And as you can see, the BLM apps are all here, so like the BLM lights, I've got other things like a, a blow-off valve sound, um, you know, you've got your Sol Config, Sol Planner, Sol Weather app. So, if we just look here in BLM car, obviously make sure it's ticked so that it's obviously working, and uh, you can use all its features, and it's got, you know, plenty of things inside, such as... Um, you know, user interface style, you can extend it, message colours green, red, etc, value colours, you know, enable rain and wiper controls, um, again, you can customise all this, if it's red, it's because it's not, you know, the factory format, I've turned that off because I don't want rain, uh, random rain intensity, but the, the thing that we're going to be looking at today is this hotkey section here, now, if we enable these hotkeys, it comes lit up from the greyed out, um, and what that means is we can actually map a key, or for instance, like the Stream Deck, we can use key key functions, um, and we can actually use it for like wipers, no rain, you know, reset, next mirror, move mirror left, and so on. So the great thing about this is, uh, if you're in the game, if you just want to use your keyboard, you can just simply use these key functions, and it will actually move the mirror, uh, rather than just actually clicking on the mouse and just you know, tapping it gently and it moving the mirror slightly. If we do this, then it just makes it a lot easier, especially when you're in game and you just want to flick through. So I'm just going to show you how I do it on my stream deck now. Um, as you can see, I've got the mirror up, down, left and right, and then this is the mirror change. And basically, I've mapped this button here so that, as you can see, Alt and Zero, and if we just head back over here, next mirror is Alt and Zero. And that just allows me to select between the left, the centre mirror and the right or the, like the virtual mirror. Also we've got field of view in and out for the mirrors so we can actually make it look you know, closer or further away. Um, so if you're just finding that the, the cars seem too far away from you um, and when they're actually quite close just adjust this accordingly until you're happy with it and, how it, and, and get it looking nice. 
and basically all we need to do is use these keys on a keyboard so if you want to use it move the left mirror you just use alt and one but as you as we've just said we're using and I've put an arrow in my stream deck and literally as I hold these keys down it will move the mirror I don't have to tap them I can literally hold it because with a stream deck it'll repeat the key input um, like a, a, a reoccurring key so that way I can move the mirror really fast it's a great way of adjusting mirrors in a set as you know as you change cars um, as you change to you know a, a different vehicle or a vehicle you've never been in, setting the mirrors is quite important, um, especially if you're racing. And sometimes, you know, it, it, it can just get like a bit annoying when you're having to find the mirror app and bring it up and adjust it. That's why I like having a stream deck because it's just so much easier. Uh, obviously, these are the other functions I've got like for uh, voice meter, which I've done another video on about turning the volume up and down. Uh, so the game volume, discord, the brightness, um, I've got a blue light filter on. Um, so I can actually make the, the game not as bright, so on a night, it's like, it's like night eye, um, so it's, you know, you can really tone it down and just make it nice so it's not too bright, so, you know, I can launch Sim Hub from my stream deck, um, again, uh, Discord, there's all these things, or if I just want to mute uh, Discord quickly, I've got these functions as well, but if you just come back, this is my main, um, Buttons that I use inside a setto which I've made myself. I haven't actually made all of the uh, icons, but I've actually, what well, I say, I've made myself. This is my own button box that I've designed. So I wanted the brake bias up here, the traction control, ABS. I've done other videos about Stream Deck, so make sure you check them out. But all I've done here is I've used a uh, folder tab and then I've changed the, the font of it, the, the logo, to like a cog for settings. So when I'm racing, um, I just simply click on this and it takes me into this section. I can quickly adjust my mirrors and I can come back out. So I can just press back and it goes back into it and so forth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over into Assetto Corsa and I'm going to show you how this works. So here we are inside of Assetto Corsa. And as you can see, I've got the Stream Deck function up here. So you can see the only thing is you're not going to be able to see my left mirror uh, due to recording. Um, and it being on a triple screen setup but if I just literally press the mirror change button here and then on my stream deck I'm going to actually press the key so if I press up now and hold it down up as you can see it moves the mirror up and then if I hold it it moves it down and again left and right and you can literally position this where you want you can do a full 360 if you want which would be pretty pointless but yeah so as you can see um, if I you know, adjust the field of view, um, I can come right back and you can see the Sparco seats in this Mark II Escort. Um, if I zoom back in, we get the field of view just a little bit further in and I tend to find that something like that sort of distance is pretty good. And then if we just press the mirror change button here on the stream deck, that switches over to the right mirror. So if you just take a look at the right mirror, as you can see, it adjusts if I hold it down, if I tap it, it just moves increments. If I hold it down, it'll move quite a lot. We can literally see the uh, sliding window. Move it around, move it up, move it down again. And you can just simply move out with the field of view until you're happy. So you can just play with these until your heart's content, until you really get um, you know, a, a really nice look. It just makes it so much easier in game when you're, you know, just wanting to quickly adjust the mirrors, especially with a stream deck, it makes life so much easier. Like I said previously, check out my other videos about stream deck. I go into depth about them and how they work and the functions you can do, um, how you can link things to it, like Discord, and I've got voice meter linked to it. If you guys are wondering what's going on up here, this is uh, Reaver Tuner. Um, again, I've done another video on this. Um, talking about how you can help it set your graphics up, how you can get the stability. This is the, the frame timeline for the frames uh, per second. You can dial it all in and you know keep an eye on your GPU temp, how much percentage your GPU using, the VRAM. So again, like I said guys, I've done plenty of other videos talking about all these different things that we need for sim racing that will benefit you. Um, so I hope this video does help 
you guys today with like a set of Corsa. I'm going to start putting a few more videos on with other things I've found, uh, like Competizione and the updates it's done with the DLS, uh, DLSS and things like that. So uh, please hit that like button, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification for all my future content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. I say for a long time cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm with